Coming up next at 10, pizza, Paragon Cable, the police, and people at the Metrodome combine for a Super Sunday here in Minnesota. Plus the explosion and fire you could see from 25 miles away in North Dakota. Join us. We'll have all the pictures next at 10. Introducing Ford Taurus and the List. Quality, design, and safety are all at the top of our list, which is why we're at the top of this list. Ford Taurus, the best-selling car in America. Where's my bag? In just over a half hour, your family will disappear out the door. What do you fix for dinner? Well, if you're ready to go when I am. It's quick, it's easy. Oh, I invited Bobby over. It's beef. Hey, Bobby, pull up a chair. It's what's for dinner. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation of catching an icy cold wave. Woo! It's a big one. I'm hanging tin. I'm shooting the curl. Woo! York peppermint patty. Get the sensation. Ooh, the head lobster's calling my name. I've never tasted such delicious food. <laughs> Wait, you brought your own dressing? With this gourmet buffet? Wait do you taste it. It's new. Craft-free peppercorn ranch. Fat-free, cholesterol-free. That tastes good. Trust me. New craft-free peppercorn ranch non-fat dressing. Mmm, spicy, mm -hmm. peppery. If it tastes too good to be fat-free, it's craft-free. Look, there's flipper. Where? Oh, give me... Sinus weather, and you're about to take a sinus medicine that could make you drowsy. Next time, take Sudafed Sinus, the maximum strength combination of pain reliever and fast-working decongestant found in Sudafed that won't cause drowsiness. For non-drowsy relief, depend on Sudafed Sinus, because people depend on you, now in easier-to-swallow tablets and caplets. And I'm Harry Smith. Are you still paying full price for clothes, cars, and vacations? You can do better. Our Get It Wholesale series starts tomorrow on CBS This Morning. and Christopher Walken touched your heart in Sarah Plain and Tall. Now their family saga continues. Happy birthday, Sarah. Her love for her family was strong. What if it doesn't rain, Papa? But loving the land came with decisions she couldn't bear to make. There's nothing here for Anna and Caleb. We won't leave you. You and the children have to go. Her fear was not of leaving. <laughs> Everything will be all right. But of losing the greatest love she'd ever known. This terrible love for you is so strong. From Hallmark Hall of Fame, Skylark, next Sunday. Women would die to be with him, and some did. Oh, Only his ex knew his secret. You got a gun? Sure. Practice. Poisoned by Love, Tuesday. This is CBS. Listen to this. Get free airfare for two to sunny Florida in Plywood, Minnesota's Florida Flyaway Sale. Just purchase $399 of Philadelphia DuPont Stain Master Carpet, and you'll get free special edition padding plus two free tickets to Florida. Philadelphia DuPont Stain Master Carpet comes in over 100 colors and shades and is on sale now at Plywood, Minnesota, plus free padding. So get free round-trip tickets for two to Daytona or Orlando in Plywood, Minnesota's Florida Flyaway Sale. You'll love the changes at Plywood, Minnesota. Fixing lunch is one of the joys of motherhood. Peanut butter again? It's a thankless job. Ew, egg salad? Isn't this your doggy bag from last night? You're always pressed for time. Are you mad at me? Thank goodness for Lunchables from Oscar Mayer. Their best meats, cheeses, crackers, even dessert. Best of all, kids love them. Thanks, Mom. Lunchables from Oscar Mayer. Nothing but the best. 
can get pretty hectic in the Twin Cities. In the car, at home, or on the job. It's good to know you've got WLTE, Light FM 103. Relaxing light music that never gets in the way of what you're doing. All your favorites back to back, with less talk. For soft, light music you can enjoy for hours at a time. Wherever you are, there's only one. Light FM 103, WLTE. You're watching today's WCCO Television with Brad Good and Amy Marsalis. This is the 10 o'clock news on Channel 4. Good evening, everyone. Amy has the night off. This Sunday brought news of pizza, Paragon Cable, problems, parties, and police with football bouncing in and around all of it. Super Bowl Sunday leaves few untouched. Good evening. Well, we'll look at it all tonight. We'll begin with the parties. Whether in homes or at the Dome, it's safe to say a majority of Minnesotans spent part of the day around a warm television set watching the big event, at least until it got boring. You can compare your Sunday experiences with the ones reporter Scott Reynolds found around the Twin Cities. Some people chose to go to the site of last year's Super Bowl to watch this year's version. And most of them got in an enjoyable workout before the kickoff. If that didn't give you a headache, skates for pillows probably would. But these people thought their choice was super anyway. Uh, every year I see the Super Bowl different places. This year I came to the Met to rollerblade and I see a bunch of friends out here. It's nice. Plenty of monitors at this sports bar, but only one game showing this evening. And even if your team didn't win, you still might have if you had the right numbers. For some, the goal was winning the employees' costume contest. The crowd at this sports bar would be larger and louder if the Vikings were playing. The manager says that's because on Super Bowl Sunday, a lot of football fans decide to go to house parties. But would you subject your house to a crowd like this? I asked the man who's done it for eight straight years if it's worth it. Oh, yeah, you just pull the furniture out and uh, basically hose it all off. So, yeah, it's worth it. And if you win some bets, it's really worth it. We won big bucks. She should be happy. And if your team is losing, you can always focus your attention elsewhere. I kind of like eating a lot better than I do watching. But with the game turning into a blowout, this football fan maybe had the best idea of all. Scott Reynolds, WCCO Television News. <laughs> and the Super Bowl rivets so many people to the set that police reported a very quiet afternoon. Nonetheless, experts on domestic abuse say incidents usually go up on Super Bowl Sunday. Authorities we talked to say it was unusually quiet, but they expected more police calls to come in tonight after the, fest after the festivities break up. Well, as you might expect, pizza places that deliver like Domino's were running full tilt just before and during the game. They didn't even have enough time to talk to us and tell us how busy they were. And Paragon Cable had a problem on its hands this Super Sunday. This afternoon, cable service went out for more than 7,000 residents of South Minneapolis and Edina. However, Paragon officials say an amplifier did go out, but the repair people found the problem and got it fixed in time for the big game. Well, if you tuned out the end of the game because it just got to be too much of a blowout, RJ is here to, what, fill us in on what we missed? I yeah, think they I, uh, blew the point spread uh, and then some. <laughs> Apart, yeah. <laughs> Something yeah. about the word super, I think, doesn't is that what quite did it? live up to its billing for some reason. It was a yawner again in the later stages. And you get the feeling uh, that, uh, boy, I tell you, that this team, the Dallas Cowboys, are going to be there in the 90s. You get... Uh, feeling also that you're better off spending the day doing something different than watching the game and settling for just watching the highlights on the news. 52-17, Dallas the winner. Most game chatter and that type of thing. A little something bit tells me this is it for Buffalo. I don't think we're going to see a, a return for oh, they a could be. Time. They could be back, but whether or not they're going to win one in a long time. I think the jinx of three now, uh, enough said, but, well, 52-17. Thanks, RJ. <laughs> Well, one of the stories this Sunday comes to us from western North Dakota. It happened in the small town of Winter, North Dakota, not far at all from Fargo. The aftermath shows the wreckage of a propane tank and the ruptured gas line still burning. Miraculously, only one person was injured in the explosion at the Melrose Company plant. Everything was burning. There were semis burning, there was bobcats on fire, there was trailers on fire, the doors were blown out of the shipping building. Now tonight, 40 National Guardsmen are arriving to help with the cleanup. 
For a time, more than 500 residents were evacuated from the city as a precaution. The town itself is without electrical power because of the blast. Officials say power probably won't be restored until tomorrow or maybe Tuesday. A five-year-old Invergrove Heights girl is still missing after eight months. After exhausting and extensive searches, Corinne Erstead has never been found. The man charged with her kidnapping, rape and murder, Robert Guevara, will go on trial tomorrow in Hastings. Tonight we look back at the evidence and the key events that will now play themselves out in the courtroom. It was here on June 1st at the small Invergrove Heights home where five-year-old Corinne Erstead turned up missing. Her mother, Mona Williams, began a relentless search of the neighborhood. They say she could be lost out in the woods and just, you know, walking in circles or it's hard to say. Police were notified and searched everywhere, but soon ruled the case an abduction. It's like hell. Over the next few days, family and friends consoled the distressed family, including this man, 25-year-old Robert Guevara, a friend who frequented the home. Four days later, Guevara was arrested near Pine City, Minnesota, apparently fleeing town with his girlfriend. At approximately 7.15 a.m. today, we received information from the Pine County Sheriff's Department that they had just apprehended Mr. Guerrero northbound. Arrangements are being made to transport Mr. Guerrero to the county, Dakota County Jail. Guevara on that day and ever since has claimed he had nothing to do with Corinne's death or disappearance, but a bombshell of evidence was found. Guevara's rented storage locker in South St. Paul was searched. In it, Corinne's bloodstained sundress was found. Based upon uh, those search warrants, evidence was found linking Mr. Guevara to the disappearance of Corinne Erstad. Corinne's mother was in shock and disbelief. She wrote a letter to Robert Guevara in jail, begging him to tell police where Corinne was. Guevara wrote back, telling Mona Williams, quote, you know me and you know I would not kidnap Corinne or harm her or keep her from you. Investigators had some evidence tying Guevara to the crime, but without her body, trying the case would be difficult. An all-out search ensued. The Mississippi River was dredged. Fields were scoured again and again. Divers poured through the murky waters in Mud Lake for hours, and teams of searchers spent a week going through tons of garbage in the Dakota County landfill, but nothing was found. The frustration mounted through the fall, but prosecutors stood their ground claiming they had their man and pushed to go to trial. Now tonight I spoke with the attorneys on both sides of the case. Dakota County Attorney James Backstrom told me he is anxious to begin interviewing prospective jurors. He says he will also ask the judge tomorrow to clarify just how extensively they will be able to use the DNA blood sample or the DNA testing on blood samples found on Corinne's clothing. And Guevara's attorney, Anthony Torres, told me tonight he is confident and does not want any more delays. He says the media and the public will hear yet another side of the story during the trial, one he says has not been heard before. A quick look now at headlines, world headlines tonight. President Bill Clinton returned from his first weekend at Camp David. He spent the weekend working with cabinet officials on ways to cut the deficit and worked on looking for a replacement for Zoe Baird. One of the budget proposals, proposals apparently on the table is cutting back increases in Social Security. It's meeting a lot of opposition. Either way, Republican Bob Dole says there's almost no way the Clinton administration can cut the deficit without affecting the middle class. The reality is, one way or another, that through a gas tax or broad-based, whatever it is, uh, the middle class is going to be uh, asked to pay higher taxes. Dole says programs like Social Security will have to be on the table if there's going to be meaningful deficit reduction. And while Clinton concentrates on his domestic agenda, familiar international issues remain. Today, Iraq's Deputy Prime Minister Tarek Aziz says his country wants to open a new chapter in relations with the U.S. and its new president. Speaking on British television, he said Iraq has done much to meet U.N. resolutions set after the Gulf War. Aziz would like to see objective talks between the two nations regarding the ceasefire agreements. A quick look now at what's ahead. Next, how the beauty of the St. Croix Bluffs may be ruined by people who love the view.
And later, Matt Balo shows us if the puddles will freeze tonight and perhaps thaw again tomorrow. And later, the hunt is on for a favorite winter treasure. We'll be right back. You're watching the 10 o'clock news on Channel 4. You ask for big value. Chevy delivers. New Cavaliers come equipped the way you like. With reclining seats, anti-lock brakes, automatic door locks, power steering, and much more. You ask for big savings. Now that's big. Right now, the dealing on a new Chevy Cavalier starts at just $89.95. That's a lower starting price than last year. You may never find new Cavaliers for less. See your Heartland Chevrolet Geo dealers. Explore the majestic Serengeti in Florida at Bush Gardens. Wherever the sun glows, wherever the wind blows, wherever the water flows, wherever it smiles, this is my home. And if your family feels at home on the beach, the St. Petersburg Clearwater beaches are minutes away from Bush Gardens at Tampa Bay. No place else. It's all in the cards. For $2,000, I'm going to guarantee you no danger. If you have the cash. Now, is there any way you can go to the bank now? WCCO's hidden camera caught a psychic scam. One woman's con I will blow it. your mind. One man's accurate predictions may open it. I'm not a prophet. I am just a psychic with some ability. Dimension reveals the gift and the greed, beginning Thursday at 10 on WCCO News. Efforts to build an interpretive history center near Taylor's Falls have hit a slight snag. It seems the project is the right idea, but according to the state, it's the wrong size in the wrong place. As Bill Hudson shows us, getting the project out of view will be the key to getting it built. It's been called one of the most beautiful drives in the state. The bluffs along Taylor's Falls draw more than a million visitors annually. So it's no surprise that plans to build an interpretive center atop one of the bluffs would raise some eyebrows. What we're concerned about in interstate is we have a very small, one of the smallest state parks in Minnesota, one of the most heavily used state parks in Minnesota, so we have more sort of people per square foot in that park. And we would very much like to have the building done in an environmentally sound manner. What the DNR objects to is a planned history, conference, and theater center that's five times larger than what the DNR wanted for the area. There's the fear that it would mar the natural view from the Wisconsin side of the river. Instead, the DNR wants to see it built on four acres of parkland in town. The Heritage Coalition, charged with devising the plan, says that would mean scaling back. Um, I don't think that we could scale down what we have now to 6,000 square feet. Um, although, if that's all we can get on that particular site, we'll be glad to take it. The coalition, state, and federal agencies hope to come to some type of compromise, one that preserves both the dream of building the interpretive center and also the bluff's natural beauties. And that could mean building the center on several parcels of land, hidden from view, but full of natural and cultural history. Bill Hudson, WCCO Television News, Taylor's Falls. The coalition and the DNR plan to meet in a couple of weeks in hopes of resolving their differences. Well, up next, enjoying winter activities under difficult conditions. And a forecast of more of those conditions should make quite a few of us happy. Stay with us. The problem? The solution. Ford cars and trucks. Winter ready, weather tested. Ford Escort and Taurus, both with road dripping front wheel drive. Ford Ranger, redesigned with a bold new look, meaner engine and a nasty attitude. Ford F-150, strong, rugged and king of the hill for 15 years. Though when winter gets tough, get tougher with Ford Cars and Trucks. See five of the top ten best sellers at your local Ford dealer today.
Water Bedroom is having a four-day sale. Four days only to save on everything you need for your bedroom. Water beds, soft sides, day beds, futons, metal beds, bunk beds, kids stuff, and beautiful bedroom furniture. The four-day sale at Water Bedroom. Better snap to it. Sale ends Monday. Free checking with no hidden charges. And no minimum balance. No limit on the number of checks you can write. Only from your No West Bank. Does your bank give you free access to over 500 instant cash machines in Minnesota? And the phone bank with bankers available 24 hours a day? What would you say to a new unbelievable free checking account with special offers on other Norwest products? Wow. Coming up on the 10 o'clock news, Matt Balo and the weather. Sponsored by NSP, the energy to make things better. About 10.30 at night, I'm dragging my recycling down to the curb, you know? And I'm thinking to myself, am I accomplishing anything here? Then I think about the millions of other people who are doing the same thing I am. Maybe all the little efforts, they add up. Along with your efforts, NSP employees recycle over 100 tons of paper, plastic, and aluminum at work each year. I know this. We got to at least make the effort, right? Well, a program note now, a reminder to watch WCCO this morning. Tomorrow morning, it's the only mix of live network and local coverage of news, weather, sports between 6 and 8 a.m., and uh, yours truly, Matt Bailo, will hey. be back at 4 o'clock in the morning I'll to be get here. the weather ready. You better sleep fast tonight. I That's will, a, and uh, turn around. you missed it last week, but you're on my phone list, so we'll call you tomorrow morning and let you know what's going I'm on. I'm changing my number immediately. Fair enough. <laughs> as yes. long as it's going to be warm like today, It'll I might want to get up and get out of fact. there. Uh, I'll be joined by Kathy Egan here tomorrow morning at 6, and on our way in and on your way into work as well, we're looking for a few clouds around. Could be some fog tomorrow morning, but temperatures will be mild. Be near 30 degrees, so... Uh, I think most everybody will like that, with the exception of those people who run ski areas and those who would like to do some skiing, because we'll melt some more snow tomorrow. Highs today, we're in the 40s across most of the state. 37, the cool spot up in Alexandria, but 45 was a record in Duluth. 46 was a record up in St. Cloud. And that 45 degree reading here, that's the warmest since November 11th. That's almost 12 weeks since we've been in the 40s. Then it was 46 degrees. And 45 normally occurs on the last day of March, not January. So we're running about two months ahead of schedule for temperatures. Very mild out there. With this warm weather, of course, some of that snow managed to melt. If you were walking outside, drips from buildings and roofs was one of the things you had to watch out for. Sidewalks were wet. 10,000 lakes, well, we had a few more today. They were mainly in the streets. You had to kind of watch for those. Also, there were some wet sidewalks. It's the same old story this time of year. When we have our January thaw, just came a little late in January this time around. 45 degrees wasn't a record, but it ties the record that was set just four years ago. This morning's low was 38. We've cooled off a little since then, but still a very mild 34. And of course, no precipitation. With that 34 degree reading, we have some clear skies right now. The dew point has dropped down to 28 degrees. We still have a northwest wind. It's at nine miles per hour, and the barometer is rising. We reached 30.13. Temperatures are cooling down across most of the state right now. Temperatures in the 30s, even some upper 20s back in western Minnesota. The warmest spot right now is up in northeastern Minnesota. That's where they still have some clouds around. Those clouds stretch all the way back into Wisconsin. They're in the mid to the upper 30s there. But with the clear skies, we will probably drop off about another 6 to 7 degrees later on tonight. And satellite pictures do show that whereas we had plenty of sunshine for most of the day, we do have some of those clouds around right now back to our east. A few clouds just to the northeast of the Twin Cities right now. So skies outside are clear at 10 o'clock, but we'll have probably the most of cloudy skies the rest of the night. We'll be right on the edge of that cloud cover out there. There is a cold front on the map tonight. Behind this cold front, there is some cold air indeed. Teens and 20s right now back up in uh, southern Canada. But that cold front isn't headed in our direction. High pressure is. And as that high pressure moves in here, it's going to continue to give us mostly clear skies through much of tomorrow. It'll lighten up our winds quite a bit as well. And it's going to keep things dry. We're not looking for any precipitation tonight or tomorrow across the upper Midwest. There's a little bit of rain going on around the Four Corners region. Back in the east, they've had some lake effect snow in portions of New York and Pennsylvania. And back in the northeast, 10 to 12 inches of snow fell in portions of Maine. There's a winter storm warning out in Vermont. In Boston, well, they had a couple inches of snow. Any Anyway, it was enough to get some of the salt trucks out there. Do they use salt back there? 
Uh, look into that, Brad, would you? Okay. All right. They uh, got the trucks out anyway and some snow shovels. This is what winter should be like in Minnesota this time of year, but of course it isn't, so you'd have to go to the northeast if you wanted that kind of weather. If you're like most of us, you'll take a few 40-degree days. Tomorrow should be another nice one out there. High pressure will still be in charge. It's really quite a large area of high pressure, so it's going to be in effect for a few days now. Temperatures tomorrow will be a little bit cooler, but still very, very mild. So the forecast tonight, clear to partly cloudy skies, some fog possible late, but it'll be mild with 28 for low, a northwest wind at 5 to 15. Then for tomorrow, some morning fog possible, otherwise partly sunny and warm, 36 degrees for high with an east to southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear tomorrow night, 24 for low, and on Tuesday, becoming partly sunny, it'll be a little windy, but it'll be warmer once again, a high of 42, and Wednesday through Friday, well, temperatures will be cooling back down. You'll have to get back out those winter coats, I think. Temperatures will be dropping into the 30s for highs. It's a cold wave. Temperatures will be dropping into the 20s for lows, but it looks like it should mostly dry through that period. And this mild weather will continue through the rest of the week. I investigated. I think in Boston they throw tea leaves over the side. <clears throat> Something the like road. that. Yeah. You didn't have to look too far for that, did you? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. All right. All right. Thanks, Matt. Well, the unseasonable weather welcomed a couple of celebrations. The first, Winterfest in Lake City. Actually, it could have been called Springfest today. Now the ice rink skating was uh, a little sloppy to say the least, but it was a perfect day to be outside to watch the parade. And if you're among the thousands of people who hunt for the St. Paul Winter Carnival medallion, the hunt is on. Last year and in years before, treasure hunters descend with rakes and shovels and anything else to dig in the snow. However, with this weather, maybe there won't be that much to dig through. As most of you know, the clues appear each day in the St. Paul Pioneer Press. Well, it's all over but the pouting. Ralph John Fritz is up next with the Super Bowl aftermath. We'll find out if this was the biggest, biggest blowout ever. We'll be right back. In 1590, Galileo hypothesized that all objects fall at the same rate. But then, he never considered the depreciation rate of luxury automobiles. The Lexus LS400 has retained more of its value than any other car in the luxury class. Cash in at Lexus of Wyzetta today. Since the dawn of time, man has endeavored to unlock the secrets of the universe. He has successfully harnessed the powers of nature and sent rockets to the stars. Only one question remains. How can Tab Clear be a diet cola and yet have the flavor of a regular cola? Tab Clear, try it, it's not what you think. Coming up on the 10 o'clock news, Ralph John Fritz and the sports. Sponsored by Classic, Pinnacle, and Assure 2. What makes them better is you. farmers who like to solve their own problems. Who know that the only way to do something better is to design it themselves. Dubon offers classic, pinnacle and assure two. You use one, two, or all three. So you can put together a post soybean program as suited to your needs. everything else you do. Classic, pinnacle, and a sure too. What makes them better is you. Well, I don't know. I think it was over at halftime. That pretty much Yeah, not closed quite the, the biggest blowout, but one of the uh, 52 to 17. It was 28-10 at the half, and, uh, you know, they, Buffalo had that great comeback against Houston, but uh, this is a different team from Texas that they were <laughs> I playing should say, here. yeah. 52-17, Troy Aikman was named the most valuable player. And actually, uh, I was thinking it could have gone to Ken Norton Jr., but uh, nonetheless, Aikman did play well. So it looks very much like the Dallas Cowboys, youngest team in the National Football League, are destined to be 
the team of the 90s. Thurman Thomas scoring as Buffalo dropped its third Super Bowl in a row. Unprecedented. As we go now to Mark Rosen, who is standing by on the Rosen Sports Sunday desk and a lot to talk about tonight, Mark. You bet, Ralph. And uh, we have among our other guests, uh, fresh from the planet Reebok, Sean Salisbury, Viking quarterback, uh, who enjoyed the game a little bit today, I would think, that the NFC stood up once again and pounded the AFC. Did anything catch you by surprise other than maybe the final score today? Uh, the, the final score did. I thought it would be a, a little bit closer than that. And NFC continues to dominate. I, I feel sorry for Buffalo because they're going to take more abuse than any team's ever taken losing three in a row. But Dallas was almost perfect today in every phase of the game. Do you feel that uh, those who felt that the uh, maybe the Dallas-San Francisco game was a real championship game, that San Francisco almost could have done the same thing against Buffalo today? I don't think there's any question. I mean, Buffalo's good, but in my opinion, there's probably four, five, six teams in the NFC that are as good as the best team in the AFC. That does say a lot. Of course, they've won nine years in a row, uh, the NFC has. We're going to talk more with Sean Salisbury in a couple of minutes coming up on Rosen Sports Sunday. Also on the couch, we have, as we have throughout the playoffs, Vikings defensive coordinator Tony Dungy and media critic Brian Lambert from the St. Paul Pioneer Press who will give us his report card on what uh, the network NBC did with the Super Bowl today. Also, Sid Hartman will be here. Give us a call, 330-9030. All that and more coming up on Rosen Sports Sunday, RJ. All right, Mark, thank you. And we turn and shift gears now to college basketball. The Iowa Hawkeyes returning home today for the first time since the death of their teammate Chris Street. Street's family were special They're guests at, at Carver Hawkeye Arena Street's today. They watched a hard-fought game. These two teams traded baskets throughout the first half, including a three-pointer here by Kenyon Murray. People say the Big Ten is the most physical league around. Well, the Wolverines can verify that. Take a look. They now have two players with broken noses. James Voskill is the latest. Took an elbow from Russ Millard. If he's anything like Chris Weber, it won't slow him down. Weber continues to dominate inside. He makes the basket. A couple of Hawkeyes hanging on. Michigan led by as many as nine, but A.C. Earl and the Hawkeyes came back. And in the end, the fans and the dedication to a fallen teammate, too much for Michigan. Iowa wins it 88-80. to Big upset in Iowa City this afternoon. Speaking of upsets, ninth-rated Seton Hall is upset by Syracuse, 76-67. And Florida State beats Georgia Tech 96 to 77. The women go for basketball team is on a roll. They won on the road again and in Michigan again. This time they beat the Michigan Wolverines 71-62. They, of course, last uh, game had snapped a 38-game losing streak in the Big Ten on the road. Their next game is Friday, February 5 against Penn State. That is at Williams Arena. In the only game in the NBA, it was the Lakers and the Celtics meeting for the first time since Magic and Larry retired. It was the youngsters teaming up here. Fast break, Reggie Lewis slams a pass from D. Brown. They're new stars for the Lakers, too. Anthony Peeler had a great day. He and teammates at Ale Threet, each with 16 points to lead the Lakers past Boston. 96 to 87 was the final in that one. In our earlier sports cast, it looked like Robert Wren was going to win the Phoenix Open Golf Championship. He led after 54 holes. But 28-year-old Lee Jansen had four birdies, including the 17th and 18th holes to win the Phoenix Open. Jansen finished 11 under par, and Robert Wren finished tied for third at eight under par. Meanwhile, in sunny Maui, it was Waui in the finals of the senior skins game, and the master here, Arnie Palmer, needs to sink that long putt for $140,000. No sweat for the old pro. Palmer, Chi-Chi, Ray Floyd, and Jack Nicklaus were in that final four. And top-seeded Jim Courier added another Grand Slam title to his collection, defeating Stefan Edberg in yesterday's Australian Open final. Uh, Courier breezed through the first two sets, but Edberg came back to win the third with shots like this. Edberg continued the pressure in the fourth, but Courier served just too much for the Swede as he netted match point. Courier wins his second straight Australian Open as you take a look at the scores in four sets. And I know you picked Buffalo yesterday, oh, boy. but... Was that the wrong pick or well, what? Well, the next time Don't you plan on me doing that, sports. <laughs> either call Grace Lee Nickel, Mark, or myself. Anybody. Stick the news, will you? <laughs> That's terrible. you got to feel sorry for him. I don't feel sorry for him. No. Um, the M NFC, for heaven's sakes. Jeez. Three in a row. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Minnesota State Lottery has a game for you. So play your favorite or try a new one. There are still millions in prizes you could win. So keep on playing. One more time!
fasten your seatbelt, it's time to go play in the snow. Because it's time for the Dakota Midwinter Blowout, featuring the mid-sized Dodge Dakota 4x4 Club Cab. An available 230 horsepower Magnum V8 makes it a real snow thrower. And we can throw in almost $3,200 in total savings, too. Right now, our selection is big, but it won't last long. So get to the Dakota Midwinter Blowout now, before it blows out of town. Today. Expect spring rains today, with a chance of thunderstorms and high winds. Can you pick up 10 more bags of 37.51? He had it. I'm on my way. There are still millions in prizes you could win. So keep on playing. One more time! Fasten your seatbelt. It's time to go play in the snow. Because it's time for the Dakota Midwinter Blowout, featuring the mid sized Dodge Dakota 4x4 Club Cab. An available 230 horsepower Magnum V8 makes it a real snow thrower. And we can throw in almost $3,200 in total savings, too. Right now, our selection is big, but it won't last long. So get to the Dakota Midwinter Blowout now, before it blows out of town. See your nearest Dodge dealer today. Expect spring rains today, with a chance of thunderstorms and high winds. Can you pick up 10 more bags of 37.51? He had it. I'm on my way. Got it all planted. Comfort can be found in many things. The warmth of a favorite chair. The security of home. A radio station you can depend on. WCCO AM 830. Rain, snow, or shine day and night. WCCO AM has the latest news, weather, sports, and community information. When you need to know, morning or anytime, it's a comfort to know we're there. WCCO AM 830. Finally tonight, February is Black History Month. Among the events scheduled tomorrow is an African-American storytelling session and book fair at the YWCA in Minneapolis at 1030. Today, a concert in honor of Black History Month was held at the State Theater. And we'll leave you tonight with a sample of that concert, but be sure to stay tuned for Rosen Sports Sunday. Good night, everybody. Chrysler Plymouth dealers proudly announced the Chrysler Award Celebration Sale going on now at the minivan store. For a limited time, you can buy Voyager voted one of Motor Trend's 10 best domestic buys for only $1.99 a month. This Voyager comes generously equipped with automatic air, AM, FM, stereo, driver's minivan, airbag, and more. Now just $1.99 a month. Plus, save on our entire award-winning family of minivans. The Chrysler Award Celebration Sale going on now at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. John Askew talks about the convenience of using easy handling, dry, partner herbicide. It's just a very easy product to work with. So how about control, John? It's no disputing what type of control we get, and it's season long. Get the earlier, stronger, longer performance of timed release partner herbicide with the convenience of a dry formulation. We know it's going to work, and it hasn't let us down. Recently, an object was sighted. It was big. Bigger than big. Big would be an understatement. Very big. Huge. So not. When it arrives, you better not be alone. It's Bigfoot. Pizza Hut. From Pizza Hut. Two square feet of pizza on a tasty new crust. $10.99 for up to three toppings. It's bigger than Pizza Pizza. Bigfoot from Pizza Hut. It's a lot for a little. Oh, 4 8 8 8 8 8 Pizza Hut delivery is really great.
Knowing your fortune could cost you one. $1,000, I'm going to guarantee you. No danger. Dimension reveals a psychic scam, Thursday at 10. You're watching WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul.